I need you to be my apostles. I need you to go out and talk about it and say, we owe this to each other. We love each other. Good morning, saints. You know, I've been trying to whittle down the real difficulties and challenges that most of 21st century Christians are having today within the confines of their own American church, regardless of denomination. But it really does come down to seven deadly truths. Number one, they don't read their Bible. They, for some odd reason, they just do not read their Bible on their own. And I don't, I don't understand why they don't do that. Number two, they refuse to get alone with the Lord. They refuse to go to the secret place, the prayer closet. Be patient, be still, calm down, and wait on the Lord in a secret, private place. They don't do that. So they don't read their Bible. They won't get alone with the Lord in their secret place. Number three, most of them don't believe that Satan even exists. They want to say that it's bad. There's good and bad, but they don't believe in, in, in divine, holy, and evil. And I don't know why that is either. Maybe Hollywood has destroyed it, given, given everyone such a, such a cartoonish image of Satan himself. When Jesus himself spoke too directly to Satan so many times and spoke of Satan. So they don't read their Bible. They won't get alone with the Lord. They won't go to their secret place. They don't believe in Satan. They don't know where they live. They don't know where they live. They don't believe in the biblical, biblical description of heaven and earth. And that's a frightening thing when you think about it, to not know where you live. It's the very definition of being lost. Sweet These are the remnants of a lost civilization, Christian civilization. It was once at the very heart of European life and culture. Those days are long gone. The data is clear. Christianity in Europe is, is, is dying. By thy return, sweet Dr. Harvey Quiani, professor of African Christianity and Theology at Liverpool Hope University, is from the Christian nation of Malawi. He says moving to what he calls Britain's pagan culture was a shock. Growing up in Africa, growing up in Malawi, um, Christianity is, is, is exploding. The median age of an African Christian is 19. Coming to Europe, these are post-Christian people. They have moved away from Christianity. I teach students who would tell me uh, I'm a third, fourth generation pagan in my family. God is still moving in Europe, but the larger culture has been lost. And although some governments might still be officially Christian, they are now openly persecuting Christians. What is hard for people in America to understand is that people in Great Britain really have no notion of what Christianity is. Attorney Andrea Williams of Christian Concern in London spends much of her time defending clients like Christian doctor David Makareth, who because of his Christian beliefs refused to call a transgender man a woman and was fired. 
In essence, I'm now being compelled to say things which I cannot say. But when I'm told to call a man a woman, or call a woman a man, they're pushing my conscience where it cannot go because I could not serve my savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, and do that. It's the same story for Christians across Europe. In Finland, a Christian member of parliament faces possible prison time for simply tweeting Bible verses that condemn homosexuality. And Bolivant warns it will probably get worse as Europe returns to its pagan roots. At the end of that road, culturally, I think, is, is, is probably 80, 90 percent no religion. And so to convince them to, to pay attention to Christianity again is, is a challenge. Only a radical revival can, can change that. But if we don't, then it's going to get darker yet. So they don't read their Bible. They won't get alone with the Lord. They won't go to their secret place. They don't believe in Satan. They don't know where they live. They don't know where they live. Thanks a lot for searching that out. I appreciate that. Fisherman in the box. Fisherman in a box.